Alrighty guys, Vio here coming at you with the last episode of season number one of the Ingolstadt career mode. Now, as you can see here, we'll quickly look at the table. We are in fourth. Now, only two points behind us are Frankfurt and only two points behind them are Hoffenheim. So, we've got to try and protect our fourth position at the moment and if possible, try and claw back Bayer Leverkusen who are only six points ahead of us. So, uh, we actually have a superior goal difference to them and a much superior goal difference to uh, Frankfurt and Hoffenheim as well. So, I'm actually, when looking at it, not conceding a lot of goals considering how much I normally concede on uh, Legendary, which is pretty good, and we're scoring a lot. We're equal top scorers with uh, Bayern Munich up there, and we're doing pretty well with conceding. So we're, I mean, I, I would love it to be better, obviously, but we're, you know, top, you know, 40% with uh, goals conceded as well. So that's pretty good. Alrighty, so here we go looking at the calendar, and we have a game against Darmstadt to start us off, and then we play against Hamburg away from home. Uh, Bayern Munich at home and then Hanover 96 away to finish off the season. So hopefully we can do that um, We can do that strongly. We really want to try and get into the top three realistically. I mean at this Originally, I thought you know I didn't want to get into Europe because I thought it'd be too much of a drain on us next season too many fixtures and stuff like that but realistically We want to be the best we want to be competing against the best so we're going to be trying to compete uh, in the top leagues, top levels and stuff like that. So we're going to be trying to get into the top three of the Bundesliga to get automatic qualification for the Champions League. So we're going to, without further ado, let's get into this first game of the episode against Darmstadt and see if we can get a victory. We just have to quickly fix something up because Gerhard got injured in the last episode. So we will be putting... Uh, is that? Cohen is back uh, ready for games as well. So we're putting Cohen back in. So that's not too bad. And unfortunately, in the last episode, we did lose... Uh, the audio, as you would have already known, you would have already seen it um, by this time. So a little bit annoying, I'm going to make sure we don't do that this episode and complete this episode without any interruptions. Let's get into this game against Darmstadt and get three points. Alright, they're playing around our box pretty well here. It looks like it's Youngworth, or whatever his name is. I don't really know too many of the players here. Great tackle by Mateep, but Stark gets the ball back. Passes it out to Sirigu. What can he do with it? Oh, Kallas almost makes it there. Oh, that guy's huge, first of all, and a beautiful save by Nylon. What's his name? Stro Engel or whatever his name is? That guy is massive. That big number nine in there. So we're going to try and get it off him. We're going to try and run Vinovich back into the middle here. Try and get this header out. Oh, good save by Nylon. Going to be another corner. We want to try and clear this and maybe get Lecky or Lex away. That would be the best thing. I might just try and run Lecky out now. Run him up there. And if we can win that header, oh, it goes to Lecky as well. Now let's try and make a move. Alrighty, Kachunga, got to make a run for us. Play it straight through to him. Kachunga looks like he might be able to do something. Cut inside, play it up to Lecky, and it should be up again. Play it up, there we go, Vanovic. Nah, I don't want Vanovic hitting it. Who hits it? It is Gross who comes in last minute at the edge of the box there and puts it into the back of the net with his left foot. A beautiful finish. Gross has been sort of underrated in our team because I suppose most of our goals and assists have come from our front three because that's how I play. But uh, Gross has actually been decent for us, um, winning the ball back, creating stuff as well. So good for him to get on the score sheeting. I think it's only his second goal that came up just then. So good for him. Sirigu on the right-hand side. I think it's actually their right back. Beautiful cross in, and Rosenthal gets up for it. We're worried about Stroengel, the big boy, but Rosenthal looks like he's huge as well. And a beautiful headed finish. Eight goals in the Bundesliga for him. Ah, a little unfortunate just before half time to be conceding. Win that, Da Costa. Oh, not quite. Oh my God, I thought Danny Da Costa would have won that. Did not quite get up high enough. And unfortunately, Heller puts it in the back of the net. Two headers for Darmstadt to put them up 2-1. Let's see if we can make a sub here. We need to make a change. Kachunga's just not doing it, so we might go to more pie to see what he can do off the bench. He's now 66 rated, which is pretty decent. I'm going to put Morales on. And what I might do, I've never, I haven't used him in a long while, so we're going to put Pledel on the right-hand side to see how he does. So hopefully we can get us a winner. All right, Darmstadt here with a corner. It's going to be Hella, the man who got the uh, the second goal for Darmstadt to whip one in, and it's actually fallen to Sergi Santos, and they are 3-1 up here. That is not good. Oh my goodness, we're at home against another promoted team. We should really be winning this. You know, given the, the results that we've been able to conjure up this season. A little bit unfortunate. All right, so this game, they might not be able to get something back from. So, it kind of sucks, but it means we can sort of concentrate on the other ones. Vanovic, Kern inside. Oh, we still got the ball here. Morales, good ball out. Oh, it hasn't quite made it. We still got the ball here, though. Pledel just brought on from the bench. Da Costa. Oh, good run from DaCosta. See if he can whip one in. 
See if you can win that. Oh, some more pie, though. We don't want more pie to be... Oh, my goodness. What is going on? Lucky has had a hit. I literally didn't even control that. Not going to lie. I was controlling more pie trying to hit it. I hit B. Maybe it already switched to Lucky as I hit B. I'm not 100% sure. Either way, we'll have a quick look at it. Somehow, it's fallen to Lecky and gone in. I'm not... That's the weirdest goal ever. We'll take it, though, because maybe it'll... Maybe give us a little bit of a, a glimmer of hope to try and get one back and get the draw here. As we say that, Morales intercepts a ball. Come on, Morales. You've got to finish this. Get in. Oh, my goodness. He's put it wide. Morales, what was that? That is not good enough. He's gone for the slide tackle with the left foot. I actually tried to like power it into the bottom left-hand corner with his right foot. Ah. Oh. Oh my goodness, and that is the end of the match just there. A 3-2 loss at the start of the, the last the last episode of the season is not good enough. We should really be getting points there against Darmstadt. Ah, oh, so frustrating. So, so frustrating. Alright, it looks like Hubner wants to discuss his wages. We'll have a quick look and see what they are. If they're anything too high that he wants to jump up, I'm not going to do it. Uh, where are you, Hubner? There you are, centre-back. You're a backup centre-back, so you're not great. 8,000 to 20,000. No thanks, buddy. I will give you 10,000. How about that for a jump up? And you'll be an important first team player. How about that? <laughs> See if you can take that. You'll probably be pissed off. I'm probably going to get rid of you eventually anyway. You're not that great. You haven't played at all. Now, we're still in fourth, thank goodness. So I think Frankfurt actually just got a draw. So we're kind of lucky that that happened that way. So hopefully... I'm pretty sure that it works the same as the uh, the Bundesliga, that top four go through to the uh, Champions League. I think fourth is a qualification game. So hopefully it's that. We've got a few uh, scout reports and stuff like that. Um, so Hubner has declined. Obviously his, his wages weren't met, which I'm not really too worried about. I don't, <laughs> don't really care for him that much anyway. So I'll uh, sort out these scout reports in a second, and then uh, we'll get into this next game. Alrighty, guys. So here's the team, the same team we're going to be putting out um, against Hamburg that we did against Darmstadt. Uh, unfortunately, we didn't quite get the victory there, but hopefully uh, Kachunga and the boys can sort of bounce back and get some goals here. And uh, at the end of this episode, we will obviously do a season roundup sort of thing. We'll, uh, we'll go through the squad report, and uh, it's going to be a bit of a long episode, this one. And uh, the squad report's going to be interesting. Kalas has grown by like four, I think. So he's crazy. And it'll be interesting to see how the rest of the guys did. I think Kimikon's up by three last time I checked, um, even though we're not really playing him that much. So good for him, but uh, let's get into this game. Oh, it's meant to go to Lecky. Lex has gone through. It's going to be a slide tackle, and it is going to be a penalty. I didn't even mean for it to go anywhere near Lex. It was going to Lecky, and it's a red card. It is a send-off for, it looks like, Slobodan Rajkovic. I was actually scanning that guy as well. He's uh, He was actually, I think he's out of contract in a couple of months at Hamburg. Oh, it's a dirty, dirty tackle, though. We were lucky it even went through that far to Lex. But uh, we'll take it. We'll take a penalty and a sending off. They are down to 10 men, and it's going to be Big Kachunga. And I think this might be his 20th goal of the season if he can put it in. Let's see if we can do it for the big man. And that's not a great penalty. We'll go on top left, though. And he puts it in the back of the net. It'll pop up in a second how many goals he's got. But he's absolutely ripping it apart. There we go. Kachunga, 20 goals in the Bundesliga. That is absolutely insane. Going for the golden boot. He'll probably get there as well. With only a couple of games left, I think Mueller, uh, Thomas Muller is the only one close enough to really chase him down. Kachunga might be through here. Cuts back. Oh, he's done him completely. Can he finish it? And he does. Oh, and he slides Adler back about 10 yards. <laughs> Pretty much showing him where he should have been to stop that ball. But that is a beautiful finish from Kachunga. The absolutely brilliant leading goal scorer in the Bundesliga. Cuts back inside. A beautiful finesse shot into the far corner. 21 goals for the season in the Bundesliga for Elias Kachunga. Oh, we got problems here a little bit. Oh, Boister is through, and he finishes it. He's showing why we should actually look at purchasing him. He's in the shop window. Well, probably... <laughs> he's not really in the shop window. I don't think they'll ever really want to get rid of him. Um, but, you know, he's showing why he's uh, a bit of a, a young beast. A young beaster, if you if you will. Oh, uh, Olich is on the ball here. What can he do? A beautiful ball over the top. Oh, my goodness. Nyland just got there. Let's see if we can go on a counter-attack here. Lex plays it through. Play through to Kachunga. Oh, yes. Get that Kachunga. There we go. Play it all the way through. Down again. Down again. There we go. Lex is away. Now, we've got to try and cut back. Play it upside. Play it up to Lecky. Play it up to Kachunga. Cut out. Oh, my God. Have a hit, Kachunga. Get in. Oh, my God. He's putting it in the back of the net. That is a beautiful flowing counter-attack. Well, flowing at the start, and then it becomes sort of stop-and-start passing around their box. Eventually, Kachunga put it in the back of the net, though. 3-1 Ingolstadt. 
Oh, it's a great ball in. Muller should finish, and he does. 3-2. We're still in the lead, and we still should be able to get the win here. Celebrating. I'm not sure why. There's still a goal down. Really weird. Nikolai Muller with the goal. And that is the end of the game. That Muller goal was only a consolation. We get the three points here at uh, at away from home against Hamburg. So a beautiful win there. Now we are going to be back at home against Bayern Munich, who just had a 1-0 victory over Augsburg. And we'll have a quick look and see how we're going on the table and see how the Golden Boot race is going as well. So we are still fourth on the table. We've pulled away from Eintracht Frankfurt a little bit, which is good. And uh, I don't know if we'll catch uh, by Leverkusen, though. So I think they're pretty much out of reach, even if they just get a, um, a couple of draws, they'll be away from us. So that's how it's looking um, for the table. And it looks like Kachunga's kicking away five goals ahead of Muller now. And Leckie's chasing him down also, which is absolutely crazy. In the assists, Leckie is the main man. And then uh, clean sheets, we're not even going to worry about. <laughs> Let's get into this next game against Bayern Munich at home. Oh, Lecky with the beautiful, oh my god, beautiful. Kachunga, can he step around? Can he finish it? Oh, straight at Neuer. Lecky with all the beautiful work to take out uh, Philip Lahm there. Or take the ball off him at least. Oh, probably should have been finished. Lecky, oh my god, is Lex onside? Oh, Neuer's come out for his sweeper keeper role. What can we do though? Can we win the header? It's not even a header, it's just there. Kachunga, can you play it over the top? Oh my god, what a ball. Lex, finish it, get in. Neuer! Oh, the bane of my existence in this first half. Wait, what? Wait. What? I looked away for a second. Is that not a corner? Is that a penalty? Wait a second. Wait a second. I'm not sure what's going on here. Is that a penalty? Goes and tackles Alonso. Was he inside the box? Was he inside or outside? I think he's inside. It's a penalty! Oh, that is not good. <laughs> I literally looked away thinking nothing happened, and then obviously that happened. Get there. Oh, what a save, Nyland. Big save, not only for us, but for Kachunga. There we go. Now, can we go up the other end and maybe get Kachunga a goal? That'd be a little uh, anti or ironic, or at least. There we go. Played over the top. Kachunga is away, too. Kachunga is through. Can he finish it against Neuer? Oh, my God. What are the odds of that? What are the absolute odds of that? A beautiful saved penalty from Nylon against Thomas Muller, the man trying to chase down Kachunga in the golden boot race. Saves it, goes all the way out the other end, and Kachunga puts it through Neuer's legs. Oh my goodness. Thiago on the ball here. We've only got the one goal lead, so it's definitely not a short, especially against a team like Bayern, who are passing very well. Goes over to Muller, and there we go. I could feel it coming. The way they were passing, we're getting nowhere near them, and it is one all. The equalizer from Thomas Muller, who missed the penalty earlier. Still not going to catch Kachunga in the goal, uh, the goal tally, I would imagine. But uh, a little bit annoying. More pace, step up. Oh my god, he actually gets it away. That's crazy. Cohen, play it all the way up. Oh my god, DaCosta finish it. Get in. DaCosta finish it. There we go. 2 1. What a beautiful finish from DaCosta. Neuer <laughs> still saved the first effort. Beautiful ball. Luckily, I held it in enough. Otherwise, it was going to come to, I think, Lecky, who was coming back from an offside position. DaCosta gets his goal. What a finish. And that is the end of the game. A big, big victory there against Bayern Munich at home. I'm pretty sure we did the double over them this season. That is absolutely insane. Who gets two wins over Bayern Munich in a single season? Probably not a lot of teams, but I'm pretty sure that we did it this season. Absolutely crazy. What can you do? Now, let's have a quick look at how the table is going. Now, we are... We're definitely in at least fourth. That is for certain. So, we're definitely in at least Champions League qualification. And it is just up to us... Um, whether we can get the win here in the last game against Hanover and whether Bayern lose, so, uh, Bayern Leverkusen, sorry, lose. So let's have a quick look at the fixtures. Now, who have we got? Now, we'll go down, all the way down to the end. So we have got Hanover 96, obviously, and Bayern Leverkusen, where are they? They have got Eintracht Frankfurt right there at the bottom there, as you can see. So that's going to be interesting to see if they get the win. Eintracht Frankfurt, I think, are just like behind us on the table. Uh, there, yeah, so they're in 7th, so it's going to be a tougher game for them than it should be for us. Hanover down in 12th, and this game means pretty much nothing to them. They're not going to get relegated or anything. And uh, Kachunga is 4 goals clear of Muller in the uh, the Golden Boot run, or the Golden Boot race anyway. And uh, a couple of players we're going to have a look at from Norway soon, but let's get into this game against Hanover. Alrighty guys, for the last game of the season against Hanover, we have a full strength side. Yes, the Gerhardt is back in after the injury. Now, we're pretty much all of our starters are over 70 except for DeCosta and Lex on the right-hand side. So that's pretty crazy. 
And uh, unfortunately, we don't have an 80 rated player. Kalas is our highest at 76. But for a newly promoted team, that's not too bad. So let's get into this one. Get three points and pray. Just pray that by Leverkusen lose. I'm pretty sure our goal difference is superior to theirs. So we will get into automatic qualification if they lose. Oh, they've got around us there. Oh my goodness, and it's in the back of the net. Oh, as soon as he got around Matip there, Prib, cross it in. I knew it was going to be a goal. Jocelyn is just too big and too strong. We're never going to get the ball off him. And he put it in the back of the net to make it 1-0. Oh, there we go. Playing through. Lex should be away here. Might play it into Kachunga here. Oh, there we go. Kachunga back to Lex. Can he finish it? Get in. Oh, my God. Sexy Lex. He's put it into the back of the net with a rocket. What a beautiful 1-2 with Kachunga. Just a couple of through balls. It wasn't even a... Um, a 1 2 like LBA just there. It's just a couple of through balls. Just kept on side by the center back and rockets it in the, the top left hand corner. 1 all. Uh oh. Jocelyn's been put through here. He's not the quickest, but he is a big, big boy. Oh my god, that is not good. The, oh, the shot from Oriol Romeu. The CDM, the young Spaniard, puts it into the bottom left hand corner. And he's started to shatter our dreams of making automated qualification to next year's Champions League a thing. Alright, we've still got time to try and get back into this though. Win that header. There we go. Let's see if we can go on a bit of a break here. Kachunga and more pay up top together. Going to run at this defender. Hopefully it puts more pay through. There we go. Finish that. Young Frenchman, finish that. Yes! That is one back. More pay with the finish. A nice side foot pass into the back of the net. That's what you got to do. If you have a two-on-two, -two, run at the defender that's closest to your uh, your other teammate there, and he gets drawn to, and that opens up that space for your teammate, and he gets put through. Beautiful finish. Let's see if we've got time to get one more. More pay. All the way up. There we go. What can happen? Play it all. Play it through to Lecky. Lecky. Oh, gets tackled. Oh, my God. Is it a foul? No. Where is the penalty? Where is the penalty there? No. Running out of time here, guys. Running out of time. Oh, my God. Get rid of that. No, that's the end of the game. A 2 old draw against Hanover means we cannot get to... Uh, we cannot get to uh, Bayer Leverkusen's third spot. A little bit annoying. Let's see how they... Maybe they even got a draw or a win just to, to satisfy that. Even if we won, we wouldn't have got there. But uh, a good performance by all around. More pay getting a goal at the end as well, which definitely did help. Let's have a look. By Leverkusen actually had a one-all draw, so it would not have mattered no matter what. Here is the final table at the end of the season. By Leverkusen uh, through into the top three spots. So Bayer, Bayer Munich ran away with it. Uh, five points ahead of Dortmund in second. Wow, look at their goal difference. 64 scored, 24 conceded, 40 goal difference for Bayern Munich. Darmstadt and Stuttgart are going straight out, and Mainz is going to play in the uh, the promotion or relegation game against whoever got third in the uh, in the Bundesliga two. Obviously, the top two get automatically qualified. So uh, that's how this season's going to end. We're going to—it's not the end of the video. I've got a bit of a wrap-up video to go. The top scorer though is Kachunga. What a season he had! Uh, he actually dropped a bit of form for a few games, but came back after that drop with I think a four goals in one game or something like that. It was a crazy game. But uh, 23 goals in the Bundesliga. Uh, let's ignore that. We'll go back into uh, into where we're going. There we go. Assist. Lecky gets the most assists with Kachunga getting second as well. That's craziness. Clean sheets go to Neuer. Bernd Leno one behind him. So not too bad at all. And uh, let's quickly have a look. We've probably got some prize money, did we? Yes, we did. Tournament prize money. We got eight million for coming fourth. That is what we needed because what we can do now is uh, we're going to ignore that first of all. We're not doing any international management stuff now. We've got to scale up. Port. We're going to leave that for now. What we're going to do because we can't actually buy anyone right now uh, by the end of the season. Um, because it's not a transfer win or anything. What you need to do, because you get, no matter if you, even if you have 50 million at the end of the season, no matter what, 50 million or nothing at the end of the season, you're going to have the same amount at the start of the second season. So you may as well spend the cash, and we're going to adjust it a little bit and spend it on contracts. But, first of all, we've got to remember that, uh, we've got to remember that more pay is going to cost a couple of mil by the end of the season. So we've got to keep an eye on that. But uh, let's advance on a quick little bit and see if it comes up with the uh, the news and stuff like that. Um, let's have a quick look. I want to try and find like player of the tournament and all that sort of stuff, and then see how we do. Let's have a quick look. Um, so I'll just get rid of all this stuff, and then when I find it all at the end of the season, I'll uh, I'll go over everything with you. 
Alrighty, so here we go. The fee is due for the lone player, which is actually more pay. So we will uh, put a contract offer out to him. It's only 2,000, which is absolutely crazy. So we'll put that out there. Crucial first team, no, not a crucial. We'll put as a squad rotation player. If he wants more, we can give him more. He's going to be our backup, but then he will cost, I think, uh, uh, what is it, that that 2 million or whatever that we paid for him. I've never really done this before, so we'll advance on and see how that comes back. Um, it looks like a few people are going after Matip, which is interesting. Contract offer accepted, so let's see if we can accept that. And yeah, so it does cost that 1.5 mil or whatever it is. But we get Neil more pay as a... Uh, uh, confirmed signing for us, which is brilliant. Um, we'll ignore the uh, ignore the update for for a second. But more pay is actually up to 66, which is brilliant. So let's have a quick look at the squad report now. We'll go through it before I forget about it. Um, now, Nyland didn't actually grow at all. His physical and mental stats did, but his goalkeeping didn't. So it's a little unfortunate, but he still looks like an absolute monster. So hopefully he grows in the future. Oscar, we're going to get rid of. He's not very happy. He's declining a lot as well. Now, Ortag will come back off loan, but he's a 20-year-old, 57-rated keeper. We're going to get rid of him for sure. Now, Danny DaCosta's grown by one. He looks absolutely amazing. Um, I mean, he doesn't look that great. He's only 69-rated at 21, but he's he just feels so strong, so good on the ball. He's just an absolutely amazing player. Now, Engel didn't even get a look in for us at all because DaCosta was so good. Um, so I'm not sure. Hopefully he's content there. Sting is the, uh, the backup right back because he's not the quickest. I mean, we've got uh, options. We can probably probably sell him on and get uh, a new player if we need to. But uh, Matip is actually homesick, which is a little bit interesting. And uh, his mental is going down. So a little bit unfortunate that he's starting to decline at only 29. Uh, even though he's got plus one because of those uh, plus two attributes in the technical, his mental is starting to decline. Uh, bad form, homesick, just not good for him. Uh, now, Callas, look at those stats. Plus four, bad form just because I can't defend that well. But very happy player. Look at the stats. That is absolutely insane. Callas is growing like a monster and still only 22. That's insane. Now, uh, Hubner is actually content. So that's not too bad considering he hasn't been playing that much. Um, and we gave him a contract offer that was nowhere near what he would have wanted. Um, but a decent, um, some decent growth for him as well considering he's 25. Uh, plus two for the season is not bad. And Guma's grown plus, plus two, and he's still happy considering we didn't really give him a game. So that's not too bad. At 20 years of age, hopefully he grows a little bit more. Now, Brozier is unhappy. We're going to look at moving him on next season. Um, he's just not getting a look in, unfortunately. Um, now, Danilo, our first choice left back, has grown by two this season. Beautiful stuff. And still in the 23, so room to grow as well. And uh, Sutna is uh, he's grown by two also. Still room to grow a little bit, I suppose. He's 28, though. Probably not going to get too much more growth in him, but still not too bad. Now, Cohen's been uh, a pretty solid player for us all season. Decent, uh, sort of fairly good all-round stats. You know, not the greatest shooting or anything like that, but you don't need it for a center defensive mid. And he's grown plus one as well, so not bad. Bauer actually didn't really get a look in too much, but uh, grew plus one, and he's still very happy. So that's always good. Vanovic has grown plus three. I mean, he's 65 rated at 23. That's not really that great. But he, uh, he actually felt pretty good in game, so I'm going to keep him around. Why not? Now, Christensen was on loan. He's content. He's grown only the plus two, so we'll put him back out on loan, I would assume. Now, on the right-hand side, we've got Pledel. Our backup right mid is very happy. Grown plus three this season. He's only 21, so we're going to keep him around for sure. And uh, Gerhardt, the new center defensive mid, the starter that uh, starts along Cohen these days, has grown plus one since he's come into the club as well. He looks very solid all around. And uh, Gross, our main sort of man, our number 10, uh, hasn't really grown that much, but his stats are that good anyway, that doesn't really matter. And he's only 23, 74 rated already, it's not too bad at all. Uh, Morales has grown plus one, very happy as well, good for him. Uh, Stefan Lex, our main man, sexy Lexi out on the right hand side, has uh, grown by plus two, is now a 69 rated player. 68 finishing is not too bad on him as well. And uh, Kimikon, our man on loan, will go back to PSG. I'm not sure if I'll bring him back or not. I really don't know. Um, 65 rated, 21. Could really go either way. You could probably get high rated for a uh, uh, lower age for him. But, you know, good for him. We, uh, we gave him some game time a little bit um, in some rotation when a few players were injured and in some cup games and stuff like that. So PSG would be happy to get a high rated player back. And uh, Kachunga, the main man, grew by plus two. Excellent form, very happy. Uh, his finishing hasn't gone up, which is a little interesting after a 23-goal season in the Bundesliga. But uh, you can't really complain too much with that. 71 rated. His strength is the only real downside about him there. 
Um, you can't really complain about the rest of the stuff. Passing you don't really need for a striker. He's the one that's going to be finishing. So not too bad of a player all season. And uh, more pay didn't really... Uh, oh, he grew over, overall plus two. Um, but he obviously hasn't grown now since he's just uh, come into the club as a, a permanent fixture. But um, not too bad of a young player. They're 66 rated. So grew plus two this year. I'm pretty sure Hartman, obviously we're going to be looking at selling now that we have more pay. Uh, Matthew Leckie is the last player in this squad record, grown by plus two. 3.1 million is now worth, finishing's gone up, like everything's gone up. He is uh, the reason why we created this career mode and he's an absolute monster. I'm so happy with his growth and I'm uh, sorry this episode is going to be so long but that is just how it's going to have to end up. But uh, let's have a quick look at what else we want to do. I'll, I'll, I might actually sort out some contracts now, and I'll do that and get it out of the way, and then I'll show you what I did. Alrighty, so we've put 125000 into the wage budget. So what we're going to do is give some people some wages. You want 15 k buddy. Let's give you 15 k And a crucial first-team player, Danilo, you're going to be going. Ozcan, he's already got it. He's still got a year, but we're going to sell him. So we're not going to give him another wage unless he wants... Uh, oh, no, still 15 k May as well put another year on him. Important first-team player. Maybe we'll get some more money for him next season. And uh, gross, 30k, what do you want? You just want another 30k. You are going to be our crucial first team player and another three years for you for sure. Angle the right back. You only want 1,000 more. So we'll give you that even though we're not sure whether we're going to keep you or not. We'll keep you as a... We'll go to an important first team player even though he might go out of the club. Uh, Van and Vetch, what do you want? Only a 2,000 bump up, buddy. Well, we'll do that for you. And a. Uh, we'll give you a squad rotation player now. Just a bit of a bump up from what you had. Cohen probably wants a bit more, and we will give it to him. 20k all day for Mr. Almog Cohen, and a crucial first-team player slot for you for sure. Kachunga, what do you want? 20k, buddy, after getting top score in the Bundesliga. Do that for you for sure. Crucial first-team player for you. Brogeru, you're going to be going out of the club. What do you want? Just another year on your contract? We can do that for you as well, just to get us some more money back for you. You're worth a bit more with more contracts on you. And uh, Sutna, the backup left back, just want 1,000 more, I'll give you that, buddy. Not too bad at all. Important first team player as well. We may as well negotiate with everyone, because we've got heaps in the wage budget. So we may as well just do it. De Costa, what do you want? Another two years, and only 1,000 bump up with an crucial, uh, crucial first team player for you. Matip, what do you want? 20,000. We'll give you another year on it, and a crucial first team player. Maybe it'll make you less homesick. Hubner, what do you want? 20k, that I refuse to do. <laughs> so we're just going to leave him as he is, and we'll probably look at selling him straight away next season. Uh, where are we at? Matthew Leckie, what do you want? 30k, buddy, we will give you that all day, every day, and a crucial first-team player slot for sure. Now let's go all the way down to the end to see how many we've got to go. Bauer, what do you want, buddy? You probably don't want too much, you don't. So we'll give you a squad rotation player, a little bit of a bump up from what you had. Uh, Hartman, what do you want? You want just another year? We can do that, buddy. We'll go in poor. We'll go a squad rotation. You're not going to get any more than that. Uh, or Targ, you're going out of the club anyway, so we'll just give you a sporadic first-team player, whatever, a little bit of a bump up. We're going to sell you anyway. Uh, Morales, what do you want? Same sort of thing. Important first-team player. We'll do that for you, buddy. Our backup number 10. Lexi, sexy Lexi on the right-hand side. You want 9? I'm going to give you 10K. That's what you get. You're that good for us. Crucial first-team player on the right-hand side. We're going to do it for you. Kalas, what do you want? Another bump up, 10k, you deserve it, buddy. You had a great season. Just when you splash with cash, you may as well spend it. More pay. Uh, we've just got a contract for more pay. It's only 2k, I can't even believe that. Pledel, we're going to bump you up to 7k for sure, buddy. Squad rotation, we'll go to an important first team player for you. Now, what are, it's probably going to bite me in the ass going for all these um, squad roles and stuff if we bring new players in and then people will be pissed off that they're not, they're not getting their role next season. But uh, we'll deal with that as it comes along. Uh, squad rotation player for you and Guma. We'll keep you as you are. Another year for you. Why not? Uh, Gerhardt, what can you... You want another year? We'll do that. Crucial first team player. Why not? Nylon, what do you want? 30k another year. Crucial first team player. I'll do that for you. And last but not least, Christensen, you want another year. We'll give you a squad rotation player, even though you're not going to probably be in the squad. So that is pretty much everyone uh, negotiated with, except for Hubner obviously, and uh, and more pay. So we'll accept, we'll go through a little bit, um, a couple of days advance, and we'll see how we go, and uh, we'll see how those contracts ended up panning out. All right, so we've just gone into the news, and it looks like we've got Player of the Month is Kachunga. 
Sharpshooter Kachunga wins the Golden Boot and Kachunga wins the player of the competition. That is absolutely insane. Kachunga, the man of the moment. What can you do? He has been absolutely amazing. Look at all these contracts that have been accepted here. Alrighty, let's have a quick look. So we'll get rid of the scout report for now. Uh, well, I might just organize this stuff and then I'll go back and see you guys in a sec with all these contracts. Alrighty, first of all, we've got the Matip contract standoff. Looks like he doesn't want to remain at the club, or he's not decided whether he wants to remain at the club. So that's interesting. He'll get back to us soon whether he wants to. But brochure accepted. Gerhardt, Nyland, Ortag, uh, Hartman, Pledel, Vanenvec, Christensen, and Ozkan. No, that's not Ozkan, that's a scout. But all these players have accepted, which is brilliant. And uh, I'll deal with these uh, a few more players from France, and then we'll get back to some more contracts. Alrighty, more contracts accepted. Nguma, Sutna, Kachunga, Cohen, Bauer, Kalas, Engel, Lecky, Lex, Morales, Gross, Danilo, Da Costa, and Uzkan all accepted. So let's have a quick look at the contracts now and see who we... So everyone's accepted. Matip hasn't just yet, and Hubner hasn't. Is there anyone that we're still negotiating with? No, everyone has accepted their contracts, so they're all going to be happy for a little bit longer. And and it looks like the only ones we're going to have to deal with is in a couple of years. So we've got um, contracts for days, which is good to get it out of the way. And we've still got some money left over. Look at that. If we need to adjust it, we've still got a couple of mil left over, which is good. And um, not too bad, for, which is really great, actually, to be fair. So uh, I'm glad to get those those contracts out of the way. And uh, I'm glad to have such a great season. This is pretty much going to be the end of the episode. I don't think there's really much that we need to do now. We'll have a quick look at, obviously, at the end. It'll do a bit of a season roundup and wrap up uh, wrap up everything. Uh, but I'll do that in a second. There we go. A meeting is scheduled for our performance review, which <laughs> I am a guarantee that we are. Uh, we smashed. Even though the cup performance wasn't great, we smashed it in the league, which is the main performance that we really need to worry about. So I'll deal with all these scout reports now, and then I'll see you guys in a sec. Alrighty, so here we go. Kimikon is going back to PSG, which we expected. And Ortag is coming back into the squad, and so is Christensen. So that's not too bad. But one thing that we have to deal with right now is that Matip wants to leave us. That is not good at all. He is our starting centre-back. Ah, oh, damn it. It's just, it just sucks. Ah, oh, my God. Alright, so Matip is going to be listed up in a second. Uh, so, unfortunately, we're going to have to look for a new, uh, new starting centre-back uh, to go alongside Kalas. I mean, we're going to have a little bit more funds, I would assume, next season to be able to do something like that. Um, but I like Matip. He was a really solid player, even if he gave away a few penalties. But that is pretty much going to be going. So, manager of the season has gone to the Bayern manager. Player of the year un like, goes to us. Not unfortunately. It goes straight to Kachunga. has been an amazing player this year. And uh, that's pretty much it. So, player of the year for him... Matip, Player of the Month, Kachunga. So that's pretty much it. So that is this season wrapped up. Kachunga with the Golden Boot. A beautiful season where we came fourth. So we're going to have a uh, bit of a playoff next at the start of the next season to try and get into the Champions League. Otherwise, it's Europa League football for us. So let's end this season. Amazing season. There we go. They're happy to, that we're going to bring them forward into the next season. And we're going to do so. Uh, apparently an excellent showing in the cup. I don't think we really did that great in the cup. But we will advance on. And that is going to be the end of this episode. So at the end of the first season here at Ingolstadt. Uh, some ups, some downs, some highs, some lows. Some great goals, some heavy defeats. Some... Uh, some interesting stuff, but all in all, it was a lot of fun. It was fairly realistic, I would like to think. Um, so definitely a lot of fun. In the next season, hopefully we can bring in a couple more players um, that can help out the squad, just strengthen the squad a little bit, which would be brilliant. So I hope you guys enjoyed this one. I've been Vio, and peace.